DJ Double J wants to give the kids a treat. She would like to get across this wilderness here before the kids get there in order to um, present for them a cool sock hop that they can enjoy with each other. Sonny's in real trouble. He just was leaving this base here not far to go before he was out. Um, but he got a random direction. He had to move the full movement random, randomly. One up here in the mountains. And then he got an event which is forcing him to stay there for three turns. It was a natural hazard. So I think like a landslide brought him down. And so now he's going to be losing Let's see, three life levels before he can move again. And that's going to take him down to D4. With D4, he can only move to here, even if he gets full control of his movement. So that's going to be another turn where he'll lose another two life levels. And that'll take him down to F3. And then he would be okay. But if, you know, provided nothing else happens, like he has to be able to move directly back with no other, no other bad events. Sonny got another bad event. He has to remain stationary for an extra turn. I remember, though, since he's remaining stationary for three turns, he's going to get bumped up one and three in food, so it might work out differently than I predicted. This is DJ Double J's J counter. She's in trouble. She just had an event which made her lose extra water. She was kind of already struggling to get to this this base here before the teens get there. The teens are moving pretty quick as well and they have better movement capabilities in general than her. She's using the survival rules um, but I, I don't know what's going to happen to her. She's got to be able to control her movement on next turn and then sit here for a while which is going to give them time to get there first. I don't think it's possible for her to win unless she gets something really splendid happen for her. Oh. You should feel better in knowing that whew, Sonny just barely made it back. Uh, but he made it back, so that's good. He can just sit here for a while. In fact, I might just go ahead and do like the old way, since he's not interacting with anyone else, where he just kind of goes back to goes back to being fresh without having to wait a number of turns and track all that. Time's important. So the teens made it. DJ Double J did not. It was kind of good actually for Snugbug that she didn't because then he would have had to put up with the sock hop at his lodge and I don't know how he would have dealt with that. And so they are all victorious, these three, not DJ Double J. It's too bad. I've... She's she's one that I think would be fun to play games with. Sonny also made it off. He got really lucky. Um, rolled well, actually gained water steps even as he was in the wilderness without water. Did really, really bang up job of being lost. So, there are four victors in that batch. And we're going to draw a whole new batch, which is kind of fun. No carryovers from before. No carryovers from before. Turns out we only have four left in our pile here, so I think, unless I miss feeling. No, it's four. All right, so here we go. It's Sid, Lefty the Blue Baby, eh. Mooney, and Pinky. All right, this is gonna be a fun group. We'll see what kind of scenario they're up to. They're gonna be up to, the four of them. They might inter interact, interrelate, they might not. We'll see what kind of scenario the four of them are up to, are up to.